Mmm, looks yummy, doesn't it? Just kind of around the back. Oh. If I were to take a guess, I'd say that's the aorta. <laughs> Take a picture too. Coronary blood vessel. Can I get in here? I want to get my phone. Excuse me, honey. I'm sorry. But I do want to take a picture of this. <laughs> Possibly the aorta. Feel like a real Guys, I want your attention with me, just like guys, if you change your mind, try to know if I'm gonna cut the arts for you or not. That's the heart dissected. Can't really see very well because I don't have a glove. When you open up the right ventricle, look at the thickness of the left right side. ventricle. Right look side. How thin it is, and look how thick the left ventricle is. Three times as thick. In the right ventricle, we have a little greater band, which is seen only in this part. Watch my finger. No, I'm not. Right ventricle and right ventricle only. That's the right ventricle. It limits the size of the right ventricle. Because the What's the purpose of it? Leo. Oh, Mary, are you send the blood all over the body, the plaque becomes bigger. I will pull that Okay. This is going just to the lungs. The gloves. Okay, so. Not just here. Oh, let's see. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's open the heart. These little leaflets. That's the valve. If I am between the right atria and the left atria, I will contract this way. Watch. Sorry, what itchy. is this valve? My valve. Look, one, two, three, I'm going to show all of you. Watch. It's a little easier to see in here, I think. There's another one going here. I no, maybe not. It's a little clumsy. <laughs> It's There's got one. strings at that. We call these strings the cordes. Cordae tendonies. Look at this nice papillary muscle. Watch this. The muscle contracts, pulls the string. I'm, I'm going to show all of you guys. Watch. Papillary muscle contracts. Do you have sound? Oh, uh, yeah. Papillary muscle contracts, pulls on the tendon. Papillary muscle contracts, pulls on the tendon. Mm -hmm. Papillary muscle contracts, pulls on the tendon. We'll make that to the valve. Um. The okay. Like this this I think he said was the aorta. Or maybe it was that. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> Actually, looking at this. The aorta's on this side. That's the right. One's and he said it kind of made a. There we go. Yeah. So, I was right. This hole here, that's the aorta. This is probably the entryway for the. Look at the. Pulmonary, pulmonary vein. No, the pulmonary, the pulmonary artery is on this side. Pulmonary artery is on this side. Pulmonary vein brings oxygenated the blood to the the right. No, the left side. I keep. That's the yeah, I keep forgetting. Yeah, because it's it's reversed. Yeah. And this here, this hole here. All right. Right That's now, for I'm in the probably left the pulmonary ventricle. artery. Yeah, okay, this is the mitral valve. And here is what where is the, the superior the vena cava comes in. This hole up here. The, what? the superior vena cava. No, left ventricle. Left ventricle. 
Because I think I'm that's it. The left so to the remember body. the bridge the thing? Well. The, the bridge that... Oh, in between? Yeah, the, yeah, the green my part son that put up there. Yeah, right I didn't see that in mine. Oh, you probably didn't cut deep enough. Probably not, yeah. I'm in the right ventricle. I'm going to leave the right ventricle. Through which blood vessel? Yeah, I don't know. Boundary. Should be One, in there. Two, three. Yeah. Well, we don't have a lot of time left, so that's all right. I cut a little too much into this here. This here, this is just meat, part of the myocardium, I think. Okay, but it's cut. Just look at the cups. This is the cup. I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna show you three cups huh? inside of that. I don't know. I think cup. I got a cup. subpar cup. one, but that's all right. <laughs> um, yeah, that's basically that. You ready? Sorry. When we dissect the heart of a calf, which is very similar to a human heart. We're going to put the apex of the heart towards you, the base of the heart towards me. The apex of the heart is the pointed tip, the pointed tip. The base of the heart is towards my head and neck, where the blood vessels are going to come out. The apex of the heart is towards you. This is the location of the right ventricle, left ventricle, right atrium, left atrium, but the atria, both atria were cut, and all we see is the vessels coming from the base of the heart. This is the location of the IV septum, the, interventri the interventricular septum. Running in the interventricular septum is a branch of the left coronary artery, and if I move my finger on it that way, you could see the blood passing through it to supply the ventricle. When we take a cut, we're going, to take, we're going to take two parallel incisions, two parallel cuts from atria to ventricle, from atria to ventricle, from right atria to right ventricle, left atria, left ventricle. You open the ventricles, we found that the thickness of the right ventricle is about a third of the thickness of the left ventricle. So left ventricle is three times as thick as the right ventricle. We have a band in the middle or the bottom of the right ventricle called the moderator band. Moderator band is only in the muscle of the right ventricle. Okay. Inside the ventricles, both of them, there are ridges, ridges called trabeculi carnae, trabeculi carnae. And we also see a bulky muscle called the papillary muscle, papillary muscle. We have a papillary muscle, and attached to the papillary muscle are these shiny tendons, which we call the chordae tendons, okay? Let's look at this open, the heart that was dissected. Open more. Look at the papillary muscle and the papillary muscle attached to a tendon, okay? And this tendon is attached to the leaflet of the mitral valve. Let's close this heart and look at the mitral valve. The mitral valve is located between the left atria and the left ventricle. And the mitral valve forms a leaflet here and a leaflet here because it only has two cusps. And I'm going to be moving my finger with the mitral valve when the chordae is pulled on it. So when the papillary muscle pulls the chordae tendonies, the leaflets of the mitral valves are gonna open like this. Who's pulling from the bottom? It is a tendon. Tendon. Mitral valve contracts. Mitral valve contracts. Pulls on, I'm sorry, papillary muscle contracts. Pulls on the tendon mitral valve is going to open. Same thing in the tricuspid valve. Same thing in the tricuspid valve. Tendon pulls on the valve. Tendon pulls on the valve when the muscle contracts. Okay? The exit of the left ventricle, the exit of the left ventricle 
is the aortic valve. And the aortic valve goes out to, the, to give the aortic blood vessel all over the body. Three branches and then all over the body. The aortic valve does not have cusps. It's got cups. So you've got a cup, cup, and a cup. And it's cup-shaped. And you see the root of the aortic valve, the root of the blood vessel. Okay? From left ventricle to the outside is the aorta. From right ventricle to the outside, the other side, my right thumb, is the pulmonary, pulmonary base. Okay? Close the heart. Let's look at these well dissected papillary muscles and tendons. Papillary muscle, tendon, mitral valve on both sides. Okay?